Hey everybody! So as you know, my name is Kianti Ashe and this is Blue Aura Healing Guidance and Tarot. This is going to be the who's coming toward you message for our Aries, okay? So Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, Mars, or North Node, it does not matter, love. If you in any way identify as an Aries, then this reading is going to be for you, okay? <clears throat> Then woke up from my little nap and everything like that. You know what I'm saying? Feeling super refreshed, super rejuvenated. This is why it's so important to just rest during this time as we are integrating these energies. Okay? Such a huge shift with this great conjunction taking place on the 21st. Alright? So it's really important to listen to your body when it says to rest. Okay? Let us see what's going on. Who's coming for you? Okay? Let us see. Take all the sex out of it. Male, woman, whatever. What is coming toward Aries? Who's coming toward Aries? What's happening? Ooh. All right. So we got the King of Swords. Um, a business-oriented person. Someone who's very straightforward. Someone who's extremely detailed. Okay. I feel like this person, they're a business person. Okay. Very business savvy. They have a mind for that type of thing. Okay. They just know what to do, what to say, when to do it. Okay. That's just what it is. Wheel of Fortune here. Um, <clears throat> this person may be someone who... Mm, I feel here, if you guys are in school, okay, or you do anything where you're studying something in any way, shape, form, or fashion, this person, they may go to the same school as you. They may be a professor at the school, is what I just heard for some of you. So a very specific message for someone out there may not resonate with everybody, okay? Either this is your professor, this is your boss, something along those lines, all right? This person is interested in you, yes, wants to make an offer to you, all right? Um, for some of you, this person may have either gotten you a car, helped you get a new car, something like that, or that's what they plan on doing, okay? Help Hoping you get a new car. This may be something that you have to do. Your old car may break down. They come in. They help you get a new one. Something along those lines. Okay. For some of you. Speaking of car. This can be someone like at a dealership as well. Speaking of the type of business mind that they have. All right. They're good with that type of thing. When it comes to contracts. Um, also I just heard sales. Okay. So that makes a lot of sense. A car salesman or something like that. For someone out there as well. Okay. A lot of messages coming through real real quick. So let us just see. We got the moon card here, okay? A lot of truths going to be revealed to you about this individual, okay? Um, this may be their true feelings is what I'm feeling, okay? Honestly, their true feelings. I feel like this person seeing you, thinks about you, okay? This has been happening a lot. This is that kind of uh, twin flame weight that we're talking about, okay? So this is for some singles out there who haven't met their twin flame yet, but this has strong twin flame written all over it, all right? <clears throat> yeah, this person has a very uh, painful past, okay? Very dark past is what I'm getting here to. A lot of, um, whew, yeah, a lot of demons that they had to deal with, sort through, and, and mm. just be glad that that's over, okay? I feel like now they're in a much better space, as we can see here. We're over here where they weren't really sleeping. You know, they were going through some type of situation where they had to deal with demons and do some type of uh, shadow work, okay? But they've gotten through that. I feel here this person may have saw you, like I said, school, work, something dealing with you coming to their work, okay? You could have told them that you're a student. You could have been applying for something so they know these things about you. That's the type of conversation that you guys are going to have, okay? What you're going to talk about when you see this person with the Knight of Swords here, okay? I feel like the judgment is going to be made in your favor because this person favors you, all right? Yeah, they feel like you're somebody who's trying to get your, your stuff together, so they want to help you out, okay? This person had a past, so when they see somebody who's trying to change their, their life, they're willing to assist, so this is the person that's coming towards you, what they're like, what they do for work, stuff like that, okay? It all came out right here, all together. Quite a lot of information, but there was, all right? This person wants to give and take with you, okay? Once again, um, they just feel something, something interesting <laughs> when they speak to you, okay? They're not able to... Uh, put their finger on what it is that they feel. They don't know if it's love, obviously. It's not like, a, oh, this is love at first sight, right? But with the Page of Cups here in reverse, they definitely want to say something to you. They just don't know if it's the right move to make, okay? Once again, they experienced a lot of pain, a lot of sadness in their past, okay? Let us see if I can grab anything else from this. <clears throat> 
Six of Pentacles, Page of Swords. I want you to see this too, the way that I see it. This is you walking in to handle your business, right? Whatever it may be. And this is this person here. You know, they see you. This Page of Swords. This individual here, right? They see you. And I think they mean that in more than one way. Like, they see you with their eyes, and they see you like they respect you. They respect, you know, what you've done to get to where you are. Your story, or what have you, is what they're giving me. Okay. Let's see. Six of Pentacles. Page of Swords. Judgment being in your favor. Gifts being given and provided to you, okay? So, being gifted with something, okay? Yeah, being gifted with something here. Queen of Swords energy. I'm feeling like this is going to make you interested in this person. Queen of Wands here in reverse. It's like they make something happen that otherwise wouldn't have. Yeah, see? We got the Three of Wands in reverse, Nine of Cups, and the Ten of Pentacles. So it's like they, they saw that you were over here trying, okay? And so you apply for something, and then you get approved. Now, for some of you, this could even be a loan as well. They could be a loan officer. This is just the type of jobs that King of Swords would have. So, I'm throwing those types of things out there for you guys, okay? To give you an idea of what type of person they could be. But, yeah, they see you going through a rough patch. They've been there before. They've been through things that you've gone through, whether they've shared that with you or not, okay? And, or you could be the Aries, and you found somebody that this is how you feel like towards, okay? So, one way or the other. And you're wanting to go towards that person. Okay. Whew. So you may be the masculine energy here. We have the three of swords in reverse. Alright. The end of sadness. The end of sorrow. Put in the pain in the past. Okay. Put in the pain in the past is the way that they gave it to me. And for this judgment card, please. Spirit. Eight of swords in reverse. Yeah. So they free you out of something. Once again, they see you as like a young I guess, magician, and they feel like they're a magician as well, where they've transmuted the situations they've gone through and made them work in their favor, right? And so they see you as someone who's done the same, and now they want to help you even more, right? So that's what I feel, yeah, like help you get out of a difficult karmic situation or cycle, okay? Like, if only someone would have been there to help you, and that's how they feel, okay? Let us see. Let us see you all. What does your higher self feel about this? Let us see. What does Aries' higher self feel about this? So let us see, what does your higher self feel about it? Okay, what does your higher self feel about this person that's coming towards you? What does your higher self feel about it? What does your higher self have to say? Let us see. Aries, what does your higher self have to say about this? Alright, we have material and spiritual prosperity. So yeah, in whatever way, like I said, you were trying to manifest these things for yourself, but you felt like you just kept going through certain negative or karmic cycles, this person is going to come as a helping hand, as a helping hand to help you get out of this, okay? This may begin as a friendship and develop into something over time, all right? Simply because this person sees something in you that they also see in themselves, okay? They may be older than you and have experience in comparison, okay? And they want to help you out. Yeah, they want to help you step into your brand new beginning. So your higher self is all for this. Don't be reluctant or hesitant to step forward, okay? If this was your message or you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already, go ahead and subscribe. Peace and hair grease.